So this is going to be the first in a series of videos that we're going to call Back Porch Oasis. Yeah, we're going to kick this video off showing you guys the bar that we created behind us. So one of the things that we wanted uh, when we created this space was basically to um, create an extension of the inside um, of our living space. So um, I feel like by doing this out here, we basically added square footage basically because this is an added uh, living space for us. One of the parts of that was creating this bar area um, for additional seating for when we have company over, parties, um, all of that. And when Jessica first came to me and said, I want to create a bar, I'm thinking one thing. And then she says, but I also want it basically to be like, it's a bar that's built on the poor trail. That was a little bit hard for me to wrap my mind around at first, but it actually works really well. One of the beauties of it is it doesn't take up a lot of extra space here on the porch. Um, and this porch that we have now didn't have, it didn't have rails at the time. And so, it just kind of worked out that we went ahead and we built rails and we, so we built uh, one set of just regular rails and then right uh, right beside it was the set of rails that we built that's, that has the bar top on it and they run the same height. Uh, they look pretty much the same. The only difference is, is that that top piece is a piece of uh, what we would call like a Western cedar that you would get at Home Depot or somewhere. Um, and we took two by sixes uh, I took three of those and doweled those together and basically made a top out of those. And then once, uh, once that was finished up, then came out and then mounted it on the frame that was already existing that we had built also for the port trails. So on the construction of this, we used uh, treated two by fours. Um, we did treat it just so that they'll be able to withstand the elements. And then they're just basically just screwed through from the bottom here. Uh, these rails are attached that way. And then on the top side, we attach the top to the rails, uh, just simply with pocket screws and construction adhesive. And then this rail system, like I said, was not here to begin with. Uh, the posts were here. So all we basically had to do was just create rails that set and fit in between each post and then attach those to the post as well. This top is built out of Western Cedar. Uh, I mentioned that a minute ago. Um, and this is three different two by sixes and then ended up taking dowels and doweling those together clamping them up, gluing them up, letting them set. And then we put um, Helmsman spar urethane uh, on the top uh, for some ex extra protection. Uh, and then also too, on this, on this corner here where it comes against the post, it's notched around that corner as well as that end, just to help it have more of a kind of a built-in feel. So the last thing that we did, just to add some extra support to this, uh, we know realistically we've got kids, they're gonna you know, come up and push down on it. When they go to sit down, they're gonna pull up, whatever they're gonna do. So we added these metal brackets, one here and one at the other end. And those brackets, um, they're just a simple bracket that you can get, Ace Hardware, somewhere like that. Um, and those just attached, just to give it that extra support that we need. So all in all, this project cost us about $300. That's including the bar stools. Um, we'll put a link in the bar stools in case uh, you're in the market for those. But other than that, that's gonna conclude this first installment of the series, um, our back porch oasis. Next time, we're going to show you guys the privacy slat wall that we built and take you guys along with that and how we built it. If this has been helpful, be sure and hit the like button. One of the reasons that this channel exists is not only to show you how to do stuff, but hopefully to just give you some ideas and some inspiration. And with spring coming up and summer coming up, we thought what better way to do that than to kind of show you kind of our back porch and what we've done and what we're going to be doing. So if you've enjoyed this and it's been helpful, we're going to link up another video for you. And other than that, we will catch you next week. And you guys stay tuned and hope you have a great week.